just in case you haven't ever heard of B&H Photo, I have asked uh, Alan Lugo to talk to us about some of the products that they're showing off here at, at uh, NAB 2017. And um, I'm a big fan of, of, the, uh, of the site and okay. the, the products you sell, so I wanted to talk to you about it. All How are right. you doing, Alan? I'm doing really, really good. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, so um, I've explained to uh, Alan that uh, in spite of the fact that they have all these wicked cool cameras down there that are uh, giant monstrosity things, those are out of our league. <laughs> so we're going to kind of restrict ourselves just to a, a, a small booth here of things sure. that work with iOS and with uh, uh, GoPro, that sort of thing. So what do you guys got here today? Well, we have a few options uh, for you, depending on what kind of things you're looking for. A lot of people out there are shooting video with their uh, iPhone in that instance, which we have plenty of products that will allow you to do that. Um, the most important thing about video is going to be the audio. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people fail to realize that. But what's cool about what we sell here is that a lot of these products will work with your iPhone no problem at all. So for example, if you are doing more of the run and gun style shooting and you need something to pick up better audio than what your phone could produce, we have a variety of plug-in phones from Rode, for example. And it's Rode R-O-D-E if you want to check it out on our website. These are more small co uh, condenser mics that will just plug right into your uh, phone on the bottom. And then at that point, you're able to either mount it on a either a cage system or just have it kind of sitting off to the side as you hold it. That's no problem there. So I really like the looks of the uh, the Rode one is one of these cool things. It's got the two mics going kind of diagonal, yeah. different directions. Yeah. But that just pops into the lightning connector then? Uh, that Yeah. So if it's a lightning connector that you are looking for, then we do have devices that will plug into lightning. Some plug in via 3.5 millimeter, but for the new phones out there, of course, we got you covered as well. All right, that's very cool. And uh, another uh, company we're a big fan of, you're, you're listening to us live from an Audio-Technica microphone and, and uh, receiver, yeah. and it looks like you've got a lavalier mic down here? Absolutely right. That's going to be really good for interviews. Um, kind of like the one you're seeing now, of course, this is a handheld mic, but if you need lavalier, that's absolutely no problem. Now, you can get devices that will allow you to go wireless, or if you want to go wired, that's no problem too. You can use your phone as a recorder, or if you want to go wireless, you can use your phone as the recorder and the camera at the same time. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm used to lavalier mics costing a fortune, but and I still can't figure out why Audio Technica is able to do what they do for as little money as they do. That uh, that uh, lavalier mic is 29 bucks, so that's a uh, that's a pretty good price. Absolutely right. So it's going to get the job done. Depend if you're an audiophile, for example, and you need certain frequencies, that's one thing. But if you just wanted good quality audio that's better than what you get natively on your phone, then this is one of the reasons why it costs 29 dollars. They do a great job for the money, and then if you needed something higher heavier end, for example, we have that for you as well. And I also like the idea of starting low and working your way up. So many people go out and buy all the equipment and then they don't end up doing it or find out they bought overbought what they need. Exactly. What is this last thing here, the IQ7 on this top row? Yeah, so this is a device, uh, this is from Zoom. This is an audio recorder. So if you needed a lot better quality as far as audio than what your phone can pick up natively, then this will give you a variety of frequency ranges to work with. And on top of that, you'll see this device. This is a module. This is a different kind of microphone that you can and add on to it. And what's cool about the IQ7 is that you're able to switch your microphone depending on your needs. So if you wanted something more of a shotgun, more omnidirectional or more unidirectional, you can switch it up. So I'm confused. It looks like it's plugged into a phone. No, it is a whole recorder. Oh, uh, I apologize. So I will take this back. So this is a device you can use for uh, a variety of other Zoom devices. So if you have the Zoom H4 or the H6, I believe that you can get a capsule, add that there. This can be used on your iPhone in that instance. I apologize for that, but yes. Yeah, you shouldn't so. have noticed the I. I bet that's yeah, what that right, meant. There yeah. you go. So this is the microphone you just added on, and then you can get their own software to record the audio. Now, here's the issue with that. Um, that can get in the way depending on if you're shooting video also. So I do recommend that if you if you wanted to use the iPhone as a separate recording device, that's a great solution. Uh, and then you'd use maybe another phone or something else to record video. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying here. So it looks like you've just got a ton of different things to go uh, with these devices. Oh, we were just looking, you just got the, uh, the action mic for the GoPro Hero 4 cameras in? Absolutely. So a lot of people are using GoPro uh, mic or uh, cameras right now for obvious reasons a lot of POV stuff out there a lot of action sports but a lot of people are using it for secondary cameras crash cams and things like that that also require audio uh, for a variety of reasons so in this instance GoPro has has always had a small little microphone built in but it doesn't sound so good yeah it, it is not my top mic <laughs> yeah it's very tinny and you know at least it's there but in this instance so Sen Sennheiser in this case has given you an option for better audio for your GoPro so for I didn't even notice that was from Sennheiser. That's that's cool. And uh, the the other guy told us that that's actually a waterproof mic. 
Uh, it's it's waterproof, water resistant in that instance, so it's going to be as versatile as you are. As let, a, it, as let it get wet, but get wet. this is not a diving mic. Exactly right. Don't go underwater with this thing, but if you get splashed, it's no problem. Oh man, I was thinking when we were snorkeling with turtles or with uh, uh, penguins down in the Galapagos two weeks ago, we could have used that to listen to them underwater. It would be it'd be a strange sound, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. Well, I love BNH. Like I said, how do people find BNH if they don't already know about it? Well, you go to BNH, and if you don't know about BNH, you go to bhphoto.com. Check us out there. Uh, if you want to get free education online, we have something called the Event Space. If you go to our YouTube page, BNH on YouTube, and then go to our Event Space page, you can find talks and informative videos from the, your favorite videographers or photographers. Check it out. You'll love it. Oh, wow. I had definitely not heard of that. We're going to go do that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alan. Anytime this is great. At all. Anytime. Come out to NAB. We're here in Vegas. Check us out.